yo, 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 we're looking at hole two, baby, coming at you. Here we go. So basically what you're going to be doing is uh, is mid-distance plus 10%, um, which pretty much comes out to one-to-one. Uh, -to, -one. Uh, to show you that fact, we will pull this up right here. But it's pretty close to this every time, but uh, you may want to use notebook or, you know, your... your uh, calculating devices just to double check things um but seems to come out one to one mid distance what you're going to do is you're going to split the red ring and you want to do 1.2 um i kind of searched for a second to get the 1.2 here but um but basically notice that second bounce near the square the other dark square there um that's a little reference point for you you're going to be kind of going down that row with your second bounce, you're going to have the ball guy to the right side of the hole. Splitting the red ring. 4-5 is the call, which is mid plus 10%. Perfect shot. And um, comes in there with a nice little touch. So that's very acceptable, and um, basically we have, let's see here, same scenario with 2.0, no, ice hole, 5.0 is the win on this, so 5.0 comes out to 5.0, um, so 4.6 or 4.5, now we got 5.0, mid plus 10%, right, same thing, um, actually, that's a sniper nine. Let's see what that uh, let's see what sniper nine turns to, just because you need to know actual. Actually, we'll change it up here. Um, yeah, it looks like it comes comes back five zero as well. So. Um, so you know, same kind of deal here. Splitting the red ring. One and a click, you know, 1.2. Don't, I think 1.1 is a little low. Uh, 1.2 is probably better. Uh, notice the second bounce, right side of the hole, going down that dark row um, for the funnel. And 5.0 um, is 5.0. So I'm going to show you Sniper 10, now 9, and then I'm going to show you a Sniper 8 here in a minute. Perfect shot. Uh, they all use the same setup except for uh, 8. You add like... You add a 70% slider plus 10%. So it's a little bit more on the pull. Um, so we're going to look at... What's this one? That's iceberg. We're gonna use. We're gonna look at ice kid, and then I need to change this again. Though. Let's see here. Okay. All right. So we got five four. So this is so the wind's getting stronger every time. Um, so we've gotten stronger every time on this. So we're seeing a little bit of a range here. This may be on the high side. Um, not sure. I have to look at the other ones and compare everything. I. Uh, I'm not sure what Iceberg's win was. Um, same deal. You're splitting the red ring. Ball guy leaning to the right side of the hole. 1.2 top spin. Perfect shot. <clears throat> and uh, comes right down that row and voila. So we've been uh, nailing that. So let's go to Iceberg. Iceberg has a Sniper 8. Sniper 8. And we're going to use that one. And he has a wind of 5-2. So it comes out to 5-1 on that one. Um, being, oh, actually, I'm sorry. Hold on, let's pause that. So 70% plus 10%. So it's 5-3. I'm sorry. So it looks like 1-1 one one plus 1 with a sniper eight if you 
want to make the math a little easier on you there. Obviously, all these are with kingmakers, though. So um, notice I haven't really used any wind balls and things like that. I've done everything I've showed you is with the kingmaker. Um, I may do some things from time to time, but uh, everybody should have kingmakers in their arsenal. Um, it's something you don't have to spend money on, so that's why I really like them. So same kind of deal here, uh, seven, except for 70% then plus 10%. Okay, so there you have it, baby. There you have it. There is hole number, uh, hole number two, and I've showed you with sniper 10, 9, and 8. All right, guys, good luck to you in the touchdown tournament. Ice out.